Hey, now it's The Rob from 1061 KISS FM here with another video game review. This is actually one of my fastest turnarounds for a video game review yet. Even though I put about 30 hours into it, uh, this game came out on March 13th, so less than a month ago, so I'm pretty proud of myself. Uh, it is from Intelligent Games, and it's called Codename Steam. It's for the Nintendo 3DS, and this is a game that is uh, definitely for a niche audience. You'll know if you'll like a game like Codename Steam. Uh, you'll like games like Fire Emblem or Valkyria Chronicles. They're either games that you've played and loved or games that you've probably never heard of. Uh, for me, they're games that I've played and loved. Uh, this is a game, Codename Steam, that does uh, a few things right and a few things wrong. I will highlight those in this video. Uh, for starters, uh, the gameplay is a lot of fun. And that can be hard to do with a game that can be this challenging. Uh, with these strategy type games, you need to plan every move before you do it. Uh, you have a certain amount of move points, and if you want to uh, cash in, say, three of your move points to shoot, uh, you can do that too. You have all sorts of different options, and each way has their advantages and their disadvantages. Uh, Gameplay like that can become kind of tedious, but I don't feel like that happened in Codename Steam. I felt like Codename Steam was a good length of time and also uh, pretty challenging for a Nintendo game uh, on the 3DS that could be geared towards uh, children. I don't think it's geared towards children. I think it's probably geared towards uh, people my age or in their 20s. But for the most part, um, it, was, it was a fair bit of a challenge. Uh, which is a good thing. It was the good kind of challenging that makes you want to kind of go at it again instead of just throw your machine through the window or look up secrets online or anything like that. Uh, I liked the gameplay, as it could get repetitive. I liked the challenge level. Uh, I did not like the characters, and I'll tell you why. Uh, I thought it was a little bit goofy the way that... Uh, the You'll probably be familiar with almost every character in the game because they use like these public domain characters. For example, you'll encounter uh, the lion from The Wizard of Oz, as you will the Scarecrow, the Tin Man, and Dorothy. Uh, you'll play as Abraham Lincoln and Henry Fleming and John Henry and uh, all sorts of uh, Tom Sawyer. Like characters from American literature and politics that they didn't have to pay any money for, I'm assuming, because they're uh, public domain and fair use. So uh, I didn't. I, it's not that I didn't like it. There was there was something nice and endearing about having the familiar characters there, but to me it came off very hokey. As did the graphical presentation. To me, they were going for like this comic book feel, I believe, because their cutscenes were handled in comic book cells. Uh, however, the graphics when it came to the gameplay, I just kind of thought were a little bit um, that's ugly and kind of just like messy. And I didn't like them for whatever reason. But still, don't let that stop you from a game that I would really probably give two thumbs up to. Uh, a lot of fun. If you're into really deep thinking strategy combat, uh, I would really have to recommend Codename Steam. It's one of the best games that's come out in that genre in quite a few years. I'm The Rob. Please subscribe to get more of our videos. And uh, I'll be back with another video game review very shortly.